the community and the intelligence teams in Coventry who are watch, watching me because they listed me as a point of interest using intelligence communications. I'm just watching the Ignimba code and ensuring you crack the Ignimba code. Enigma code of the Germans during the Second World War and the mathematician Alan Turing. I watched the link in the one on YouTube apparently, coincidentally, linked to Alan Turing. And just like these cover operators doing V2K, the Trinity R community and worldwide investigators, we have to crack the code and crack their mathematicians, engineers. Armed forces, cyber criminals, local criminals are doing cyber crime, and uh, crack a code of uh, the targeting network, community workplace mobbing, and all the technologies and devices and apparatus and equipment they're using to spy on targets using see through raw technology. There's, there's all kinds of nefarious ways to do it, and also to uh, transmit and try and uh, agitate targets the other community members, the workplace members, co-workers trying to wind targets up and uh, the other sub-minimal sub sound amplifying technologies. And so I'll go to work, do the same as other workers and they try to overwork targets as we all know because they're trying to mentally and physically train them. And that's always a 24 hour surveillance operation. And so, for my own privacy in the tool or whatever, I try and ward these cover operators via singing and amplifying the sound back to them because we know they're listening. So, a couple of Nancy commands are thrown in. And we have ways of making it work. So, I mean, just, just to let these targets know that uh, I know what they're up to. Trying to agitate targets, trying to drive targets insane, trying to get reactions out of one so that they can try and capture it all and try and rush and exaggerate it all and and uh, try and misdiagnose targets to the mental health authorities who they can spy on with, who's obviously their payers, their handlers, and who get all the super raw technology, clinical close up, photographing of the eyes, of facial expressions, of sound recordings. And uh, of, of, of the biometrics of the targets and the biological system where they use ultrasound to try and listen to targets, bodily functions, or other people, people's volunteers and guinea pigs they're spying on, people they're paid, or even disabled people, people in, in the NHS that like they're paid to uh, listen to their biological system. So that they can try and misdiagnose targets. And that's one of their dirty defraud employees' strategies, protocols in trying to make out targets on mentally and physically disabled. So, as I say, they give targets no privacy. We watch targets in the homes, in the workspace, in the toilets, while they're sleeping, while they're potting about in the flat or at work. Yeah, because they're trying to break targets now. They're surrounding OTT surveillance monitoring school degree. So, back in the property. Here we go again. The cover operators don't want to give up. They think they can agitate me. They're getting my infrasound detector or ultrasound detector to keep us in while I'm doing these blogs. And so the cycle continues. That's the mentality of them. The immature little boys and girls. Pathetic little boys and girls. Idiots. You've got the hands on surveillance equipment. You should be struck off and have every single penny taken off them. And disgraced from the government, from the armed forces, and from the local community, from the council establishment, from the NHS, to any moonlighting police officers, firemen, council workers, and uh, mercenaries linked to the following region and any out town is drafted in. Like I stated before, the person in charge is a fully blown coward, scared to face his enemies, his foes, his targets, 
that is trying to slander, trying to put down and things to ca capture all their lives all, all day. And what, what, what it does to targets, families. Yeah, you should be put up yeah, on serious charges, crimes against humanity and thrown in prison for the rest of his life. So that's going out to the big I am in charge of the clever operators, whoever they think they are, broken boys and little girls. So here we are at work. It's just before we finished. I'm not time to go to a toilet. So between 10 to 8 and quarter past 8, so I was in the toilet. Not for that long, only a few minutes. But it was about 8 o'clock when I went. When I... No. It was really been about 6 o'clock when I went for break. So that's the evidence there that I'm, that I'm at work. I was back, back working then. So that's the eyes, I've got to keep exposing them. Then I sit down and have some, some dinner, chicken, mash, peas, carrots. So they can't lie about well, uh, how much I eat all day. Yeah, I eat well enough. And uh, it's all obvious with filming other people and listen to other people's stomachs and uh, stomach rumbles and trying to stitch and frame me up. Yeah, because that's why, yeah, they make a beeline for slim people in Coventry and uh, try and slander targets or making out targets or of indulging in uh, sex, drugs and rock and roll and uh, trying to label targets as ravers. And that's something else I've done to my mother when they watch my mother which they've induced, moaning at me, or getting stressed out in the house. Yeah, and they think they can watch these family domestics after washing people in their homes. Don't think so. It's all going to be used against them to strike them all off. Whoever these sector workers are, healthcare workers are, NHS people are, and whoever these club operators are. Yeah, you just got to follow the trail, find out who the payers are, find out who the handlers are, and it all links to Coventry NHS University Hospital, to Coventry Healthcare, Coventry NHS, psychiatrists, psychologists, sociologists, and mental health administrators. Yeah, that's who the clever operators are doing it for. And they have these, these sect abusers going on clever duty or sit behind computer screens, phone screens, watching the stream, whether it's edited or real time, that the cover operators have given access to. So to yours, keep it real, keep it exposing them, keep them at arms bay, and don't get stressed out, don't get induced, and uh, don't be scared of these cover <laughs> operators, because these cover operators are more scared than TIs. Yeah, they're scared to face the real world, they're scared to face the consequences of what they're doing on cover tree, and they're scared to come out of their hiding hotspots, hot, out of COVID duty, and face reality, and face targets who went for them, who went to interrogate them. Yeah, the proper cowards, the more they sit on COVID duty. So everybody, digest it all, so I can analyse it all, have a good night from the UK, and uh, saga continues, over and out. <laughs>